And so obviously this is gonna be really nice because you can see exactly what time different things were triggered. You can see inputs and outputs and you can see, you know, based on these patterns of actions that are happening and you know, stuff like tokens, you can make adjustments from there. And if you're confused about how you actually get there, in your agent, you have a setting down at the bottom or an option where you can return intermediate steps. And if you turn that on, that's how you get this extra output on the right-hand side of your agent right here, where you have this big array of intermediate steps, which has all of the actions and it has stuff like that. And the reason that we have both a success branch and an error branch is because we go to the agent settings and we want it to continue using an error output on error. If we didn't have it like this, basically that means if the agent failed for some reason, it would just stop the whole flow and we wouldn't get a log or notification or anything like that. So that's why we're able to split it up into two different branches. So real quick, before I show you guys some of these tools and how these sub agents work, I thought real quick would just actually read the system prompt for the main AI agent. So the overview is that you are the ultimate manager agent. Your job is to help the user out with the task by using your tools to delegate the task to their correct tool. 